Maybe we go Draconum first. But I'm against a magical character. We're gonna go Bone Saw first. Other benefit of going Bone Saw first, even though you do have to go dog shit vitality beads, you get your crest faster. This my YouTube game, don't choke. I will play another one. I said vitality beads, man. Learn an account. What's up, buddy? I'm gonna beat your ass. Yes, sir. Ass has been beaten. I got the technology. If he doesn't get his right, if he doesn't get his E second, I'm about to get my E second and I'm just gonna run him down. That's my technology. What do you guys think? I got 0-2 again in the first 10 minutes. Bro, what do you mean? I literally finished the game with 18 kills. He didn't get his dash. Get your ass beat. I'll take two tower shots. I'm a man. Worthwhile trade. Maybe. The gray stuff kind of hurts. Did I feel like, um... The slow from the E should proc on the dash. I don't know if it does or not, but I feel like it should. Yo, could you not? I'll trade that, that's fine. Clip all the way to base, you can't gank him. I gotta see if you could jump on top rope, actually. That's something I didn't check. Quick back, that's what I'm saying. Quick back with 650? Say less. Do I lose cannon though? That's the question. I do lose cannon, that fucking sucks. Only negative part of that trade. I don't really care about the rivers too much. Did I feel like Greystone probably kicks ass if you're not against another Greystone? All right, maybe we stop taking tower shots for no reason. <laughs> I'm stacking my crest, bro. I'm stacking my crest. I feel like the E's kind of a bait. 45 damage. It lowers the cooldown by like two seconds, so it is actually kind of a lot. Does seem like a little bit of a bait though. I feel like on paper I was like that shit does a lot of damage, but now that I play with it, I'm like, or like see it at least, I'm like five seconds, 10 damage, and like this is a little bit irrelevant. It takes a long time. You can auto-cancel it? I have not tried auto-canceling yet. Can you auto-cancel the dash? You can auto-cancel it. That probably feels really clean in jungle. Cause you're gonna be feeling insta? It's alright. I don't really mind it too much. I gotta get used to the, to the range on it though. It's a little bit further than other abilities. So I gotta get used to it. It's like long sev dash almost range, I think. Dude, I am beating his ass, dude. This don't feel too bad. Let me see if we jump if we can jump up on top rope now. Okay, you cannot. Not even close. For science. This is 
see as differential here. He's definitely ahead of me, is he not? He's not. 28 to 32, 34. He got rivers too. He got both the first rivers as well. Why not Q? Because I want to just W key this guy. With E, which I think is better. I could be wrong though. First game, so. Not sure what's the best. Requires more testing. Is it a good or bad thing that quite a lot of heroes are viable in mid? Uh, I think it's fine. Nothing wrong with that. I think it's only a problem if they're oppressive in mid. Like, if it's like you can only play this character in mid, then it's a problem. So does look nice and fast, easy to hit. They're pretty easy. I think I stay for river actually. I really have no reason I back. The jungler got left side last time. So that means left side's probably or uh, he got right side, so left side should be free. W key him. I feel like I have a really strong cleave. Maybe that's just me. I want to stay for full bone saw. Did you catch him? He doesn't come into the jungle. What's up, buddy? Yeah, please. Auto me. Yes. That's what I, it's actually huge for me. Please. Alright, not enough. Good damage check, though. What does the E do? Uh, it enhances your auto attacks. If you know Smite, it's like Gilgamesh uh, Q. Probably has a flash. Just gonna try to trade again. I want the wave. That looks cool. It feels pretty cool. I wish the only, the only thing I would say about it is I wish the camera was zoomed down more when you were in the air because I feel like you go up and then that camera is still up and you don't get to look down as much so I feel like it's hard to get information at least off the initial cast there maybe I just have to look down when I use it myself maybe that's why let me cast it again and I'll I'll have a better insight Like the sound the sword makes on an empty swing. You be missing a lot. I love that when you auto, it's like you're snatching the gold, bro. Like I'm just like, give me that. <laughs> oh, that's funny. Give me that. Snatching lunch money? Pretty much, yeah. Oh, let me out. We're chilling. Imagine missing Murdoch snipe. We're out. It's so easy, man. When you live. I'm still around the bait though. I still got all oh, five seconds. Don't go in beforehand. Smoked. Oh, 
He's just slightly too fast. Alright, good attempt, good attempt. We'll freeze him out a little bit. I want to get right river too, but... I put Greystone on the weekend tourney. I cannot. The counter all? Well, yeah, I gotta wait till he ults first. If he ults first, I win. Because I stasis his damage, and then he doesn't stasis my damage, and then he loses, right? That's the idea, at least. Where do we go now? Do we go Draconum? I kinda want movement speed. I might go Tectonic. I think Tectonic kinda kicks ass. Stops me for being slowed. Gives me some defense and some damage. A little bit of base movement speed. I think it kind of kicks ass. Need a leader. I think I'm going to go Tectonic into full, into full tank. I'm going to get like Tectonic, Draconum, and then hard defense. Pain. Minus one. Not doing too bad on CS. The question is what to go last. Or sorry, not last. What we'll to go for crest? Oh, I just one tap that. All right. Sephir's. I don't know if I go Sephir. I mean, Sephir gives you HP, right? So like, what if you Sephir then all so you get more HP? Because it heals you off max, right? But it's max missing. So does that even change anything? But at the same time, I'm like, I kind of want to do more damage, so like the other two would be a little better. War Boots is also like, if you War Boots, and then you get like chunked, and then you ult, you heal during the stasis. Dunked on? <laughs> that felt good, that felt good. Can you pop crest mid ult? That would be actually good intel to find out. I might clear his ass. Nice, we get a little fangle. Take a little reset. Almost have tectonic. I think we do go Zephyr. I think we just scale HP. Oh, the medic boys are the only ones to <laughs> have stasis. Look, man, everybody can have a little stasis, okay? Have a little stasis as a treat. How much ult damage am I doing? Like 400. Not too bad. Get over here, coward. I wish that fear still slowed, dude. That'd be sweet. Get your auto attack blocked. I 
don't have ult. I'm griefing. What am I doing? If I had ult, I think I'd kill him there. Oh. By the skin of my feet. I must resupply. Like they added more puddle sounds. I feel like they changed the sound in general, to be honest. I thought about the my first game. I was like, did they change the sound some way? Because it definitely, I felt like there was a little bit of a sound difference in my first game. But it could have just been because I was playing Mecha this morning. Would my Void Helm give you more healing? It would. But you wouldn't get any value out of the second passive because you don't have any CC in your kit. Other than a slow. Which does not count as an immobilize. But it might be good if you have like Draconum and you double stack it. Maybe you just heal a ton. Not really sure. He rotated, so I'm gonna take his tower. That's a mid diff. Tech that empowered artists do extra damage to towers, do they? I actually didn't even know that. I was just using it for the auto cancel. It would make sense though. I wonder if the empowered auto increases your cleave. I think I said that already. But I'm curious. Yo, Poppy, chill. We dodge that. We don't dodge that one. Jesus, what a heal. <laughs> We're out, dude. Easy. Did that five percent movement speed came in clutch? Actually, the five percent saved me. Did the heal was bonk? Yeah, that heal was absolutely insane. That was like a, that was like a two thousand health heal. What is the heal on it? 17% of max HP increasing up to three times based on missing slowing enemies up to 70%. Wait, is the slow increasing based off of uh, how close you are? I feel like that's how that's worded. Hard to tell. Anyways, what is that? 17 times 3? 54? No, 51. I feel like that was more than that. My thought so far? Feels very strong. Feels very strong. I think he could have pressured me a little bit better early game, but at the same time, I don't really know if he can. Because if he tries to trade with me, and like he trades autos and shit, I think I just beat his ass level 1 with my Q. Or not with my Q, with my E. Like I think I out him level 1, and I think I out him level 2. So it's kind of hard to punish. And if he trades with that portal when I have my E up, I think I actually kill him. We almost got away with it. <laughs> okay. We're limit testing. We're limit testing. Build by HP than resistances? Uh, not necessarily. Because HP is only as valuable as uh, the amount of protections that you have, right? Like, if you have 10,000 HP but no protections, you get killed in, like, you know, the same amount of autos that you might with 5k, but 200 of each prots, right? So it depends. Push camera is always a bit more like steals. Yeah, that's what I said. I feel like, I feel like you should look down a little bit earlier. At the same time, I don't know if that would change anything, to be honest. My name was that counterplay. True. True. We just take 2700 from tower. I wonder if um it resets. 
I almost feel like it should reset tower aggro, but that'd probably be OP. And by reset the aggro, I mean just like reset the amount of like the shot chain that it's on because it gives increasing damage, right? I wonder if like ulting should reset it to the first hit of the of the uh, tower, if that makes sense. Girls get HP, it does. But when you come down from it, you might die even if you have a lot of HP, right? Like the amount of heal, like uh, you could get a 600, a 6,000 health heal, right? Versus a 4,000 health heal, but have protections. And the 4,000 health heal might be more valuable, right? Looked like tower reset earlier. Uh, it might have. I don't know if it reset the like the damage on the hit though. I'd have to look. It's hard to tell because it aggro's on the. I think it aggro's on the stasis, like the grace that you put on the ground. But I don't know if it like resets the damage. I imagine it does. What's up, Greystone? That's my blue buff. Take a reset. Don't stop my back. Don't be cringe. Bro, you want to kill yourself? Oh, frontline, what's up? I got that tectonic movement speed. What's up? Jesus, what a heal, man. What a fucking heal. Have you seen Greystone gameplay from OG? Uh, I know what he did in OG. I don't really like what he did in OG. I don't like having two uh, basic passives as abilities. I know he just revived. Like, he was always just a revive. But it was passive, so you didn't have to activate it. It was a Phoenix, but you didn't have to activate it uh, yourself. We have no wave. We're never going to get a wave in. I'm going to go farm. You guys have fun. Any of them building tainted? It's a good question. No. Oh, they tainted. They have tainted guard. Not that that really matters. Should go Stonewall. I mean, I'm gonna go hard defense now. It's either Stonewall or Warden's Faith. It'll probably be Warden's Faith. I mean, we can always just deck it, like, deck into the other one, tech into the other one, whatever the fuck it is, man. They build the same items, right? So people not building Blight. I mean, I definitely feel like you might have to go Tainted against this character every game. Definitely seems like might have to. I wanna play him jungle. I think his jungle would feel really nice. Maybe not, though. This clear is not exactly fantastic. I would probably go Overlord if I was jungle, so it'd be better. Oh, your passive stacks on minion, or uh, not minions, monsters. I didn't know that. These abilities look better in OG. Uh, is Q and right click? Like visually, maybe. I don't know why, but I feel like the like the Q, it's very similar to like Shimbi. I feel like they're always super close range in this game. Get your ass beat, Murdoch, come here. Oh lord, he's gaming. Oh fuck! I had the alt animation. Where's my stasis, bro? My sword went in the air! Come on, what is that? What is that? My sword went in the air, bro. Scammed. That was about to be perfect, like, frame perfect. Come on. Scummed. Scummed. Scammed, bro. Clip it, scammed. Has tectonic work. Uh, it gives you power based on your movement speed, but it also is wing blade from smite, so, like, if you get slowed, you get movement speed to compensate. Thank you for the thing for the water. Appreciate it. Basket thing for the follow. Confirmed I'm old. Bro, watch it. 
Go watch it back. But yeah, it just gives you movement. So it gives you power based on your movement speed, and then gives you and not slow immunity, but it gives you like movement speed when you get slowed, which is similar. Dude, that would have been a full health all, like a full heal. I would have killed everybody. That would have been such a clean all, dude. I literally got scammed. That was about to be such a good ult. Oh, hello. Hello. <laughs> yeah, speed me up. What's up, Murdoch? You want some? I got some for you. God, what a heal, man. I'm full HP. <laughs> what the hell? That's OP. Oh, we're so fucking back. I think I do have to go Wardens. Yeah, Wardens is definitely better here. I don't even know why I'm questioning it. Wardens is definitely just better. You got the scam clip? Alright, bro. Let me get it. Post it. We're gonna watch that in slow-mo after. We'll bust that down in uh, 0.25 seconds after. What the fuck happened to my cursor there? My mouse good? We good? We're good? We're good. But yeah, Avatar movie is three hours. I'm not gonna lie. I've opened it like four times going to watch it. And then I'm like, do I really want to sit here for three hours? And then I'm like, no, I don't. And then I don't watch it. Basilisk is the only tank item. Uh, made his damage to go high. You could probably go Basilisk, actually. I wonder if Basilisk first would be better. Like an offlane. I don't know. I got a lot of testing to do. I wonder if you go the Grux build. If it's tech. What if you go the Grux healing build? Ooh. Check the skin. Thank you. Thank you. Top damage? The second top damage? I feel like I did a lot. How much did I heal though? 14k? Jesus Christ. That's solo healing.